Hello and happy Halloween everyone! Welcome back! In this video I'm going to show you how to read sequence files using BioPython. BioPython is a collection of Python modules that provide functions for dealing with bioinformatics data types and functions for useful computational operations. It also contains a module for parsing sequence files, which I will show you today. Of course, we could always write our own function for parsing fu sequence files and reading them in Python, but why reinvent the wheel when there is a functionality for that already available? Make sure to watch the video until the end, because I prepared a little exercise for you. So let's get started. One of standard and most common type of file formats for sorting sequence data is FASTA file format. FASTA file starts with greater than symbol, which defines a sequence identifier following the sequence itself. Note that the file can contain more than one record. For showcasing how to parse sequence files, we are going to use Lady Sleeper Orchid sequence data. The data can be found on the following website and can be downloaded using this command. If you would like to follow along, you can find a link to this notebook in the description of this video. BioPython provides a CKIO package for working with sequence files. For reading our FASTA file, we can use parse function, which takes file type and format of the file as an input and returns seek record as an output. Seek record, alongside other information, provides info about the in sequence identifier and sequence itself. For more details about CKIO module, you can find tutorial on the following link. Also, if you're not familiar how to install BioPython, you can check it out on this link here. And here is the example of using parse function on our ORCID sequence file. We see that when we parse our FASTA file, we can get info about sequence identifiers and sequences itself which are stored in the file. And we can also check, for example, the length of each sequence. This is the output of all read sequences from the file. Let's move now to the sequence files, which are so big that they probably cannot fit into the memory of our machine. For this purpose, we can use BioPython's simple FASTA parser, which is often more practical than the parse functionality as it, prov as it provides faster parsing of sequence data. We are going to showcase exactly that, but first we need to make sure that we have big enough file. Again, we use the following command to download the file. This will take approximately 13 minutes. After the file is downloaded, we need to unzip it as it comes zip. We can see here that the unzipped file has around 22 gigabytes, which is probably more than it fits into our memory. In the next two examples, we are going to compare the performance of simple FASTA parsers versus the parse functionality from before. We can see that simple FASTA parser takes around 206 seconds to read all the sequences from our big file, while the parse functionality took around 355 seconds, which is al almost double the time. So make sure to use simple FASTA parser when the speed is of importance. And to conclude this session, I prepared a little exercise for you for anyone who would like to work on his skills. So first one is create a function that takes the name of FASTA file as input and return its content sequences as a list. And the second is create a function that takes the name of a FASTA file as input and returns a list of FASTA identifiers. You can use any FASTA file for these purposes. When finished, send me your code uploaded to GitHub in the comments below this video and I will make sure to check it out. That was it for today's video, let me know in the comments below your feedback and make sure to like and subscribe if you still haven't. Until the next time, bye bye!